if set A with elements as multiples of 2 and set B with elements as multiples of 3 and set C as elements factors of 6 this sets are subsets of the universal set U with elements x such that 1 is less than or equals to x and x is less than or equals to 10. And the question asks is to find a complement intersect B complement intersect C complement. So let me attempt to answer this question now. Solution to this. Uh, what I will do first is to write all the elements in the given set. Set A, what are the elements? Set B, what are the elements? Set C, what are the elements? Similarly, the universal set, what are the elements exactly? Well, starting with the universal set. The universal set contains x such that 1 is less than or equals to x and x is less than or equals to 10. So the universal set contains nothing but integers from 1 to 10, inclusive. So I have uh, elements in the universal set 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10. These are the elements in the universal set. Then I move to the next set which is set A. Set A in the question it says multiples of 2. So what are those multiples of 2 from this universal set? This will now be the members or the elements in set A. So multiples of 2 will now be 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So those will now be the elements in set A. 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Moving to set B. Set B says multiples of 3. So what are those that are multiples of 3 from the universal set? Because the 3 sets are subsets of the universal. So all the elements must come from the universal set. So those that are multiples of 3 here would now be 3, 6 and 9. So those will now be the elements in set B. 3, 6, 9. Then last is set C. Set C says factors of 6. Factors of 6. Those numbers that can divide the 6 without a remainder and they are from the universal set. So the elements will now be 1, 2, 3 and 6. You can divide 6 by 1. No remainder. You can divide 6 by 2. You can divide 6 by 3. Similarly, you can divide 6 by 6 without any problem. So these are the elements in set C. So with that, we can now continue. Remember, the question asked is to find A complement or A prime intersect B prime intersect C prime. So what we do next is to get the A prime, the B prime and the C prime before we can intersect them. So A prime or A complement in short will now be those elements that are in the universal but they are not presently in set A. Those in universal but not in A. I have one in the universal but it's not in A. I have three in the universal but it's not in A. I have five in the universal but not in A. So those are the elements that I have in the A prime. So this will now be the members here, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Then I'll move to B prime or B complement. Those elements in the universal but not presently in set B. So the elements will now be 1, 2, 4, and so on. So I have 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, and 10. These are the elements that are in the universal, but they are not presently in set B. I'll continue. C prime or C complement, the same principle or the same concept. Those in the universal, but not in set C. So you have those elements 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I have my A complement, B complement, and C complement, then I'll go and answer the question right now to intersect the three sets intersection is common element from the three sets the element that I have in A prime in B prime and in C prime those elements it is those that will now be the element inside this set so A prime intersect B prime intersect C prime will now be those elements that I have in all the three sets so let me check 5. I 
have five here, I have five here, I have five here. So five will now be a member in this set. Seven, I have seven, I have seven here. These are the only two elements that are in all the three sets. So with that, I have answered this question. So what I'll do next is to show you the market distribution according to the WAIC marking scheme. And the market distribution for this question is says the first mark is the bonus one mark. And this mark is for writing the elements in these three sets correctly. All the three sets with all the elements correctly, you have this B1 mark. The next mark is the bonus two marks. And the bonus two marks is also finding the A complement, the B complement, and the C complement. Meaning obtaining these three sets correctly, you have the bonus two marks. In case there are errors in one of the two sets, we subtract half a mark for each wrong entry. So last is where you get the intersection of the three sets. That is the A complement, B complement, and C complement. Attempting to get the intersection, you have the method one mark. So even if there are some little, little problems here in your A, B, and C complements, but you are trying to get the intersection of those wrong sets, you s may still have this M mark, this method mark, and uh, the A mark, the final mark, the accuracy mark, when you have exactly these elements, 5 and 7, then you will be awarded this A1 mark. So in total, there are five marks in this very question according to the WIC marking scheme.